linear search analysis so till now we have seen what is an algorithm why analysis of algorithm is done which are the three cases of analyzing the algorithm the best case worst case and average case and finally in the last two videos we have seen which are the asymptotic notations used for analyzing the algorithm big o notation big omega notation and big theta notation now let's discuss how to analyze the time complexity or running time of an algorithm in all the three cases the best case worst case and average case using the concept of asymptotic notation with an example of linear search so here is one algorithm for linear search in linear search as we know to search for an element in a particular array we iterate from the beginning to the end of the array and compare each element with the element being searched if the element is found we will update the location which we had initialized as minus 1 before each iteration we will check whether the end of the array is reached or whether the location is updated if either the case we can exit the for loop and return the location this is how linear search algorithm works so as we know there are three cases of analyzing an algorithm the best case worst case and average case so first let's perform the best case analysis of linear search that is if n is the size of the input then what is the running time or the time complexity of linear search in its best case so what is the best case? It is the case of the scenario in which the minimum number of operations are executed for an algorithm. That is, when some particular type of input is provided, the algorithm shows its best behavior. It is called the best case and the time complexity corresponding to it is called the best case time complexity of the algorithm. So when do the best case occur for linear search? if the element being searched is present at the first position itself suppose this is the array that has to be searched and we are searching for the element 4 which is present at the first position itself so by the first comparison itself the search is successful hence we need not compare the remaining element and hence we need not go through the remaining iterations of the for loop so in this case minimum number of operations are executed for linear search and hence the algorithm shows its best performance so let's find out which all are the operations executed for linear search in the best case. Integer location equals minus 1. This statement will be executed once. Then initialization. This statement is also executed once. Now condition will be checked here. There are one two and three operations which will be executed once now here comparison here there are two operations which is executed once then location is updated so one operation then i is incremented again one operation once more the condition will be checked so here the three operations will be executed two times that's all the condition will be wrong hence we can exit the for loop then finally return location so here one operation is executed so if n is the size of the input what is f of n the running time or time complexity of linear search algorithm in the best case for that which all are the operations what is the total number of operations executed one two three four five six 7, 7 plus 6 it is 13 f of n is found to be a constant value which is 13 
So suppose each operation takes 1 milliseconds to run then as a whole this algorithm will require 13 milliseconds to run whatever be the size of the array or whatever be the array provided as the input. In this thus case always the time complexity or the running time of the algorithm will be a constant. And if the running time or the time complexity of the algorithm is a constant, if f is a constant, then we can say that f is theta of 1. It means the time taken to run this algorithm is a constant irrespective of what is the value of n. So we know that f of n equals 13, which is theta of 1 it means we have found a function g of n equals 1 which is acting as both an upper bound and lower bound for this function that is f of n is big o of 1 as well as f of n is big omega of 1 g of n is equal to 1 is acting both as an upper bound and the lower bound for the function to prove that we know that function f of n equals 13 and we have to check whether the function g of n equals 1 is a tight bound for the function f of n. For that n naught should be a value which is greater than or equal to 1. So let's take the minimum value so let n naught be equal to 1. If n naught is equal to 1 we should find two constants c1 and c2 such that f of n is less than or equal to c1 into g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to n naught as well as f of n is greater than or equal to c2 into g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to n naught. So what should be the value of the constant c1 and c2? We know that n0 is equal to 1. Now what should be the value of constant c1 here such that f of n equals 13 is less than c1 into g of n. We can take c1 is equal to 14. Then the condition will be satisfied. Also what should be the value of the constant c2 here such that the 13 f of n equals 13 is greater than c2 into g of n. g of n is equal to 1. So what should be the value of constant c2? If c2 equals 1, 2 and for all these this condition will be satisfied. Anyway let's consider the tightest lower bound or the closest lower bound for that. Let's take c2 equals 12. So if c2 equals 12 the 13 is greater than 12. So the condition is satisfied. Now check the graph. We can see that for all values of n which is greater than or equal to 1, the function f is less than the function c1 into g of n as well as the function f is greater than the function c2 into g of n. So the function g of n equals 1 is acting both as the upper bound as well as the lower bound for different constants c1 and c2. Hence we can say that f is equal to theta of 1. So what is the best case time complexity of linear search? It is theta of 1. Not only for f of n equals 13, for any algorithm if the time running time or the time complexity is a constant, then the time complexity is represented as theta of 1. It means the algorithm takes a constant time to run irrespective of what is the value of n. Now let's consider the worst case analysis of linear search. 
So what is worst case at the scenario in which the algorithm shows its worst performance or where the maximum number of operations are executed. So when do the linear search worst case occur? If the element being searched is not present in the array or if the element is present at the last position. So consider this case, let this be the array that has to be searched. If we are searching for an element 5, which is not present in this array, then we have to compare each and every element and we have to go through the entire iteration of the for loop. Even if we are searching for 9, which is present at the last position, we have to compare each element. We have to go through the entire iteration of the for loop. That is, the maximum number of operations will be executed and the algorithm shows in worst performance. So let's see in the worst case which all are the operations that will be executed and how many times. Integer location equals minus 1. This statement will be executed only once irrespective of how many times the for loop is executed. Again initialization this statement is also executed once. Now consider this statement. Here there are three operations. One, two and three operation which will be executed n times. So three operations executed n times. Now i++ plus plus, here there is one operation which is executed n times. Now comparison here there are two operations which is executed n times. And we are considering the case in which the element is not present in the array hence this statement is not executed. Finally, return location, this statement will be executed once. So, if n is the size of the input, what is f of n? f of n, which is the running time of the algorithm is 1, 2, 3 plus 3n plus 2n plus n, that is 6n. So the running time of linear search algorithm in worst case is found to be 6n plus 3. In the last videos we have already proved that this is equal to theta of n. That is the function g of n is equal to n is acting as a type bound for the function 6n plus 3. So what is the worst case time complexity of linear search? It is of the order of n. So if we observe this algorithm, we can realize that the key operation which is present in the algorithm that determines the time complexity of the algorithm is this comparison operation. So this is the key operation that determines the time complexity of linear search. In best case, the comparison is executed only once and hence the best case time complexity is theta of 1. And in worst case, the comparison operation is executed n times and hence the worst case time complexity is of the order of n. So, for average case, for analyzing the average case time complexity, let's find out on an average the how many times this comparison operation will be executed. It means on an average how many times this for loop will be executed. For that, let this be the array that has to be searched. Suppose if we, if we have to search for an element that is present at the first position itself, then what is the number of comparisons required? Only one comparison. Now suppose we are searching for an element which is present at the second position. The number of comparisons required is two. Compare first element then compare second element. Suppose the element being searched is 6 which is present at the third position. The number of comparisons that will be required is 3. Compare first element, second element and third element and so on. Suppose we are searching for an element which is present at the kth position. What is the number of comparisons required? K number of comparisons. And finally if it is present at the last position, how many comparisons are required? N number of comparisons. So. 
what is the average number of comparisons that are done which is equal to total number of comparisons divided by n and what is the total number of comparisons done it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc to n which is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the total number of comparisons divided by n which is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2 if n is very large we can neglect this one so we can say that it is of the order n by 2 hence the average case time complexity of linear search algorithm is theta of n by 2 So what is the best case time complexity of linear search? It is theta of 1. The worst case time complexity is of the order n. And the average case time complexity of linear search is of the order n by 2. But for analyzing the algorithms or for comparing the algorithm, the time complexity, uh, the worst case time complexity is considered. For example, suppose Suppose we have to compare two algorithms, algorithm 1 and algorithm 2. What we'll do is we'll find out the worst case time complexity of both the algorithms and then we will compare the worst case time complexity of both the algorithm. Then which algorithm is performing better is considered to be the best algorithm.